beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on We will remain a threat to Satan as long as God grants us that privilege. We will never allow him find expression in the life of the people. Listen, miracle services are not the only services where God touches people. Any service is a miracle service. Are you getting my point? It's just for organization. That's why you see us do the things that we do. We just set aside one week. But that does not mean God can flow any day, any time, change what he needs to change. Even if it is for the sake of one person, God can interrupt a service and say somebody came hungry. We are not religious people to just say it must go this way. Hallelujah. It must go God's way. If God wants us to begin to pray for the sick and speak into the life of people, that's what we are going to do. Hallelujah. You came praying. And let me tell you, God had your prayer and he will only respond according to your prayer, not according to a church program. If there is someone who the spirit of death is upon, for instance, God is not going to allow that happen just because we need to teach a series and allow somebody go back and die. God is too loving. He can interrupt. The Bible says when he, as he taught, the power of God was present to heal. Hallelujah. So when you important very very important this is it a gentleman or a lady that came you sent me a text you're coming from somewhere else not zaria who's the person come quickly from where my dear abuja the lord will visit you come believe things will so change in your life from this night it will surprise you Pro prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers. makes sense it doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass the beauty of prophecy is result not flamboyancy are you getting me I can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's nonsense. You just clap for film show. The power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen. Are you getting my... Let this wicked spirit leave this girl now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of oppression. Not even just you, your family. Your family. Is that true? This is even one of the reasons why you came. Where's your mother? In Oka now. She'll be in Oka. We have to pray. We have to pray for you. Huh? We have to pray so that the devil will not start, they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach. We need to pray. Are you married? You want to get married? Why are you afraid? Was that not part of your request? 
God is going to visit you. It doesn't matter what your request is here. We are not as what if it's marriage, say marriage, don't sit down. Well, look, let me tell you, this is like a factory. Are you getting my point? This is not a lecture hall. This is where God dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives. Money enters your hand, but it leaves. And this is your family. They suffer this same thing. True. Has to be very rich, but things scatter. Yes. Then it's the same pattern now with us, the grandchildren. We need to pray, all right? And we are going to break that nonsense right here, right now. You believe it? I know that you are coming from Abuja. You met a lot of people, right? Honestly, I tell you, God is in this place, my dear. God is in this place. We say it with all humility. He's not just here, but his authority and his presence is in this place. Jesus, we lift up your name and we break everything that is not of God. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rise up, you will return, and you will encounter the power of God in unusual ways. Every life siege over your life is broken and we open a new chapter. Everything that is not of God, we take it behind you and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of Eden. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Hallelujah. Be seated. God bless you. Greet one another. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Did you greet yourselves? Please go ahead. Greet someone who is not you. Hallelujah. Two of you had dreams. Um, you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running please two of those people see when god begins to interrupt me like this can we just flow is that okay mm. just play what you play mike you can put it on door now. please those two people i don't know who you are you saw someone pursuing you in your dream this is very serious this is not you know them there's one more person Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the vigil. service a night vigil. Would that be fine? Honestly, so we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come. This lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up Come. quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way. And God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction. In the name of Jesus Christ, go. Turn not struggle. From today, we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There's a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. 
Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but in everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord, set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come, brother. If I don't pray for you, the devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you. Because it's going to be something... Um, it's going to start like ulcer, but it's going to get very serious. Hmm? And we must rebuke it once you... And that God wants your heart totally. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on your chest. Set him free. By the mighty hand of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Usher. Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind there is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. Hardship. Because the Lord is showing me a vision. And I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land. Farming on, on rocky ground. And nothing is burning. We must pray. You believe that? We have to pray. You people have suffered too much in your work. Nothing is working. As you are standing like this. Absolute. Not that true. Nothing from everybody. Nothing is working. Even you, you are struggling. And this is a very, very demonic thing. You're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of God. Father, we love our workers. Why should they go through this? Satan, I adjure you. Let her go now. She's a worker in this house. And she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we're faking this thing. My God, I pray that she will be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out of her now, that wicked spirit. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now. I lay my hands and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her family go in the name of Jesus Christ. I release her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood we command that she is free let the doors be opened in the name of jesus christ doors of increase doors of plenty power by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah come let me pray for you if you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it you will not be happy do you understand? It should extend. We believe in family salvation here. That whatever is happening to you should happen to your loved ones. How many of you believe that? Praise the Lord. No matter how prosperous you are, if your family members are not getting blessed, your joy will not be complete. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let God visit your phonic thing, this demonic thing in your family. I curse it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please, let's hurry up so we can do this. Let me pray for you. I'm looking at a young lady. I'm seeing an old woman. What is all this? Where are you from? Eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman. As I'm looking at you, it's not your face that I'm seeing. I'm seeing another person's face and it's an old woman. And if we don't deal with this, it will stop you from getting married. You'll be wondering, a very pretty lady moving around. Why? Why? You know, all these kind of things. Hmm? We're going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Keep blaming. Many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free 
from everything that is not of God, I set by them now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I ask him? Let me pray for you. The spirit of death. This is death. This is not even sickness. There are families that people keep dying, dying, and they meet a pastor and he says, all right, this is the last one that will happen. Then another one happens and he says, don't worry. Just give thanks in all things. You must deal with it. Once you see fire on the mountain, there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire, don't wait till it catches your own. Find water quickly and soak your own. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? But your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God, but he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let these attacks of darkness stop. In Jesus' name. Brother, well done. Let me pray for you. You need revelation. Look at me. This is what you are lacking grossly in your life. You have desire. But desire is not enough in the kingdom. You need revelation. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? This is what you need at this phase. So you must contend for light and revelation. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you and let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word and may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Ah. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Janet. You are Janet? Okay. Your mom. A man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that he wants. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they canceled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people. He started doing corner corner and everything just backfired. Please come quickly. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Hold on. There's someone you are writing jam tomorrow, but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school. Band. Who is that person? You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Are you the one? You come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam. And if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I will pray for jam people. Don't worry. Jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. But you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? I see myself failing. You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? 
Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. Because this jam sometimes is just the help of God. It's not any long story. You just need God to help you. Regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not. For the sake of his kingdom. Sometimes you just need to say help, oh Lord. Help. As simple as that. Praise God. I know some of you are laughing. You think it's a joking matter. That's how God helped some of you. you when you saw your result, even you, you knew that this was prophecy. It's not any... The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. God is working on your blood. This is not even the issue of jam again. God is changing your genotype. Hmm? Is that true? What's your genotype? AA. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick. You fall sick consistently. It's not AA. Your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. Serious, just like a sick lad. It's just that they've not told you you are SS because this is demonic. Hallelujah. Father, let her pass her jam and change her genotype. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just wait here. I think I'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message. Hallelujah. Disappointments for your sisters. Why are you crying? Please, my dear. It's okay. See, no matter what the issue is, I want you to believe that the Lord of heaven is in this place. When God locates you, he will solve your problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? And listen, once God has located one person, you don't need to wait until they call you. Are you getting my point? This is how to tap into prophecy. When God locates one person, you can sit where you are and say, Lord, I receive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if it's not for your sister, you can challenge yourself. So you must position yourself to receive. Let me pray for you. Father, what, why are you crying? Look at me. Why exactly are you crying? Let me just ask you. It's too much for my auntie. Your auntie, where is she? Come. I'm so touched. Why is she crying like this? Please, um, it's okay. Hmm? Let's not get... I can be emotional. I won't cry, but... <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't... Kai, this crying thing. I only cry when I'm worshiping God. But every other thing, I don't know why. People are crying and sometimes I'm saying, let these people not think I'm so hardened. I'm crying, but the tears... So... <laughs> I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to... Where is your auntie? She's at home. Where is home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come to me. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus. Let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that family leave. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once so that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing. And I, I have a very powerful teaching, but I think God just wants to. Some of you have been praying and we've had the word, but God needs to locate some people this night. Please, just let it happen. Let's just let God flow that way. Why are you coming out? What's happening? Hold on, hold on. What's going on? Jam. Okay, just stand where you are. You don't need to go back. Let me just pray for these people. Hallelujah. All we want is you. Take over. Take over. Till we are consumed. By now. Lord, visit our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this plague of witchcraft be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Oh, go. 
Yes, sure. What happened? I did the introduction, did everything I wanted. Did... There's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why. If not, I would just pray for you. They did the introduction, they did everything, and the relationship just ended like that. The guy ran away. What happened? I pray for you in this place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies, may no man just come into your life, play games with you, make you to involve your parents, and then for whatever reason, go away. I separate you from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That anyone that has planned from day one that he's just coming to play around with your life, may my God keep them far from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy. It's these demonic things that we deal with sometimes. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll pray for you. Jesus, you brought her out. Help her. Be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. Some of you are already praying. You are saying, God, it won't stop. Oh, he's already close to my... <laughs> Look, and let me tell you something. Truly, let me tell you something about the power of prophecy. You know, the Bible says that upon the throne, there were seven eyes. And close to the eyes were thrones. That means anything you see, there is authority to conquer it. Seven eyes and seven horns. Once the eye of the Lord can locate your situation, there is authority to conquer it. Are you getting my point? But then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned, you must force yourself and say, no, you can receive because the word of God is also prophetic. Hallelujah. Your sister too, or your auntie, or you. Huh? Who? Who? God have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ I wish there was special time I had time to counsel because some of these things I can't say them openly but look at me there are certain things you think are disadvantages but they are the mercy and the deliverance of God that's just what I would tell you do you understand parables father have mercy on this lady and bless her in Jesus name don't call everything evil you need the eye of the spirit to know because some of you what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of god to you it's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it that's why the bible says in everything give thanks hallelujah father thank you let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of jesus Where are your people? Because your family needs the hand of God. Hmm? This is not just the issue of prayer for one person. Father, please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evil must stop. Leave the family now. Let the family go. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for the sister. Visit her. Let her marriage be successful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of jesus christ thank you my brother look at me where are you from kaduna 
you are from Makodi. There is a lot of witchcraft in your family. But Father, I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. Jam. Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam. If there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said, Lord, why are people failing jam like this? Is it because all of, I know some of you didn't read, you are just been playing around. But there are people who have been serious. And almost all the people I prayed for, for jam, I had to cast out devils from them. And then it, it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently. Hallelujah. And we need to pray this night. Because some of you, the truth is, the way you are standing now, you are not even ready for the jam. Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. So, the mercy of God can take you through where you would not even be able to. Do you believe in the mercy of God? Because that's the only prayer I want to pray for you now. The mercy of God is not just for sinners. Hallelujah. Some of you, this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times, five times, six graduated, you are still graduated, you are still graduated, you are still there. We need to take it seriously. Hallelujah. And to pray. So I'm going to pray for you. Lift your hands. If it's a demonic thing, that devil must go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, this is what you have made this house become. A place of breakthrough and in the name of Jesus I pray listen lift your hands all of you I'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you as I pray you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you Jesus we lift up your name Jesus we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here by the power of the Lord resident in this house, I command those devils of darkness release god's people now 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 by the power of the holy ghost every act of divination every spirit that wants to make you fail jam in the name of jesus i cause it i cause it out of them now out of them now out of them now 
for those of you standing for your loved ones i command that power to leave you that power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail i challenge it right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now i release angels from the throne of mercy may they go with you as you shed may they go with you i release angels in the name of jesus i release angels as you write where you do not know may they still guide you in the name of jesus where your strength fails may the strength of elohim take you through in the name of jesus christ your resort will not be withheld in the name of jesus christ every spirit of fear in this place fear of repetition of what happened last year i command that spirit of fear go 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 i cause fear go go out now go let boldness come upon you let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel i command this devil i see a spirit in this lady is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow i command out out now out now she must pass the job i command you to leave in the name of jesus out now in the name of jesus jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the lord jesus christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit i know this lady personally and i know how much she has struggled i know how much she studies i had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage i receive wisdom I receive an anointing to excel tomorrow I go with the backing of heaven I write my jam with the backing of heaven I refuse to fear I will excel in the name of Jesus father I pray for your people 
may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of Jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission I prophesy it if I be a servant of God there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my God give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of Jesus Christ and I announce to every power you have no right over God's people I put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ you will write it under an open heavens God bless you please go back rejoicing Thank you, Jesus Christ. Ah, my spirit is already charged. Goodness. My spirit is boiling with anger right now. All those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. Rekata po sotoba mante kotoso pretekete lekete te boko sotobata rekete po sotoba mante parekete leka em pretekete te bakata bala le preto so pretekete e prosekete te ba rekete rekepa raposko parikete lente posko patikata e lekete prosko si baba baba Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you, my spirit is fired up tonight. I don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage, but I'm angry my spirit tonight. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper look at the number of people trusting God for jobs there's got to be a way of helping God's people are you getting my point there, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people let me tell you something if we cannot help God's people there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity are you getting my point we have no right to stop somebody from to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and God cannot help you I came I prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah. Some of you graduated with excellent results. You have served, but your result is like a piece of paper. We need to break that power. Let me tell you, it is not by power. I taught it in the message, give me this mountain. There is a lot more. There is a lot more. Please lift your hands. There are two things I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuke this spirit. For many of you, there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise. You've gone to school 
but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith God is doing a very prophetic thing tonight I'm about to rebuke these powers and as I take authority over them the fire of God is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my God I thank you I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus lift your hands father I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my God at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 I cause powers I cause powers I cause powers shake a table help them ushers I cause powers in the name of Jesus I set them on fire let the fire of God move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago I had a story there was someone who wanted to go to NDA and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person we are going to pray I don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of Jesus I command doors of miracle jobs right now I command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your CV I move the angels of the Lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it I pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my God because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are working but the work you are doing is like slavery in Jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your CVs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing I don't think we're wasting our time this night God is visiting issues and I'm very happy about it hallelujah
the next set of people the Lord is ministering that I call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out ten times tonight don't worry Greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father you reign, great are you Lord, greatly to be Honestly, I really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for Koinonia because what God is doing in this place, I know that there is an unusual anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, those of you standing, please listen. Don't get too used to just coming out and going back. Listen to me, please. My Bible tells me that children are a heritage from the Lord. Are you getting me? Children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness. Look up, please. Jesus looked at a tree. What did he do to the tree to be barren? That means what is responsible for barrenness? Is that true? Jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren he looked at the tree he didn't advise the tree he caused the tree so how do you reverse barrenness are you listening to me jesus looked at a tree that was bearing at least it had leaves are you getting my point and he caused it how did he cause it by making pronouncements did he rub charcoal on the tree he just made pronouncements listen job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men you know what the scourging tongues of men the scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements we live in a generation where we do not know the power of words we confess we talk it we run around but when a word is spoken with an anointing whether it is demonic or of god the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect otherwise it will hit you now listen i want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth they now tell the man he's impotent low spam or whatever kind of medical terminology huh and then for the lady they now say she's barren fibroid maybe some cysts or a womb something has happened and now please if you're a doctor here don't don't i'm not i'm not against you don't be offended i'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence are you getting my point because this is purely spiritual look at me a lot of people take in most people you see i counsel people all the time it's not what i read in a book it's what i have seen hallelujah the woman takes in huh? and then when she takes in you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream oftentimes and another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen she will wake up in the morning with blood she's lost the child or all kinds of demonic satanic things but the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that means there are handwritings and there are ordinances but the bible says blotting it out hallelujah 
Do you believe the prayer we are going to pray tonight? Because we are going to deal with this thing. There are some, the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions. They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare that my womb is open. Open to receive and open to give birth normally. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You'll be surprised at what will happen here now. Then you will know that nothing just happens. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My God, you are the one doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to step in for families. We can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please. There are lots of chains that will be broken right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whether for yourself or those you are standing, at the count of four, just four counts, because I see angels with swords. Lord, let the chains be broken. One, two, three, four. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I cause barrenness. I cause it. I cause it. I command a blessing. Every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb be opened in the name of Jesus. Everyone called barren. All the covenants and diabolisms that have blood their wombs we command miracle children we command miracle babies i come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of jesus christ i come against the spirit of miscarriage every fibroid in every womb i curse you you will pass out now everyone carrying any growth any tumor any cyst in the name of jesus whether for you or your loved ones i curse it fibroids go fibroids go without surgery fibroids go in the name of jesus christ any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of god that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children I prophesy it, I decree it, let the power of God bring it to pass. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shatata balada da 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 bakarabada balada da Hallelujah. Now, I'm led to pray. Listen, this is a special prayer. And please don't be emotional about it. There are certain people here, you're having acute academic challenges. It's not because you are dull. Your own has become a serious issue. You know you need prayer. March out quickly. 
march out quickly. If you are ashamed, sit down on your seats here. There are people who are serious. You came here tonight. Your results were released for some of you. And you know that your academics is in a state of emergency. Come out here. Let's deal with this thing once and for all. Can you play strings? We refuse to believe that you are dull. The devil is a liar. Please come quickly. Find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. Pass eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. Next week is a powerful communion service. We'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody. Everybody who comes. I'm going to be laying hands on everybody. Praying in tongues and speaking. Hallelujah. I'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood. Hallelujah. It's going to be a powerful communion service. We'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again. I'm going to lay hands on everybody. Hallelujah. Things must change. We are going to force things to change. Hallelujah. Please, if you can find your way, come in. I, I want to see you, but if you cannot, no problem. We need to rebuke academic issues. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious. Out of him. Now. Come out. I hear the chains falling. Falling. Oh, oh. I hear the chains falling. You must let him go. You are a wicked spirit. I hear the chains falling. See, that power must let you go this night. That power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you? I was the best student in my secondary school. I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever. It's a wicked and demonic thing. What is exam fever? It's not because of tension. You wrote Wayek, you wrote Jam, you entered the university. See, the, the reason, can I tell you something? Listen, the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through. So they just keep quiet. They go to church on Sunday and they rejoice. They go to church weekdays. They rejoice. But the truth is this. See, my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving God more. But the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about God. Is that true? It's not enough to just say love God. He said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Take us back to our land. And we'll sing the Lord's song. How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? It's very difficult. Hallelujah. There are some of you right here. You are the only ones in your family that are in school. And the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means. It's because she's part of that word that I just said. That's why. Hallelujah. There are some of you, they are saying if you don't do well, you will just go and get married because this is your thing. It's like you are not moving anywhere. Marriage is not a quick way of escaping. It's not escapism. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you. And oh, see, the Bible says that Jesus opened up their understanding. 
that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent we refuse to believe that you are dull kick away that thing i don't care what your results have said Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you listen. What you need is to get serious. As simple as that. For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well. Some of you, what you need is humility. You are not doing well and you are very arrogant. You won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you. In this kingdom, you must be humble. Are you getting me? For some of you, is inferiority complex. Because you went to a secondary school where you used stone. And you, you sat down and the blackboard, somebody holds you. So what? So what about that? And you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody. I can't speak English very well. I'm not as fine as they are. Other people attended Queen's College. And us, we attended school that we are the people that were building the school. As we are attending the lecture. <laughs> so you feel discouraged. No. Tonight, I cancel that pronouncement over your life. Lift your hands. Let me pray and rebuke those spirits now. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me with the symbol. At the count of three, I'm going to pray. Goodness. I'm telling you, the fire of God is going to come on a very, in a very mighty way. Lord Jesus, every power holding your academics at the count of three, I set them on fire. One, two, three. Take it now. Leave them. I command those powers be taken from your academics. I rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though we've been endorsed for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a dream though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry pole come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics i set you free now 
in the name of Jesus whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel I curse that prophecy I curse that word I bless you I bless you prosper I bless you I bless you in the name of Jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called God anyone called God there's nobody that God created that is God anyone called God I change that testimony tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the balm that is in Gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but I prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of God will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory and when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negative lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be open tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ thank you for lifting thank you for lifting please go back to your seat thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting my God is really dealing with issues tonight. Please, I like you to just settle down. I'm just don't mind me. If you're coming here for the first time tonight, please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it. Hallelujah. How many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight? Whatever prayer you prayed this week, God had you. Maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow. They have shaken the heavens. Mega. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah
praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a special set of people right now. Um, there are families. Please, can you hear me outside? Can you hear me say amen? Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see her son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves. Huh? It's not just guys, guys and ladies. Some of you, you are here, as I mentioned the case, don't just stand for somebody. You know that there's this spirit in you. It's called the spirit of rebellion. There are some of you who still, no matter what happened, listen, we are a family tonight. Koinonia is not where everybody says, tell them or point accusing fingers. Everybody has something he's trusting God to bring him out of. Are you getting my point? So this is a family in this place tonight. There are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit. Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, but when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You'll say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance. Quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God. Now, don't get, when I talk of deliverance, I'm not necessarily talking of turning your head. You need a separation between you and that spirit. Let's define what we call deliverance here. So that you don't just think, I mean, go and fast for 12 days, do this. Uh -uh. What is happening? Every time the word comes, is able to deliver. Hallelujah. So whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself, there are some of our brothers here, you, you love God, or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom. But this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and say, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing, is in your own life, not that of your brother. Whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 
95% of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people, every time I talk with them, some of them begin to cry and they tell me in all sincerity, I don't like it. Are you getting me? There are ladies here, weak. There is no weak. You don't follow a man to sleep with him. You are born again. You even pray in tongues. People have told you, it's all right, you are the righteousness of God. But you know that that theology is not, it's not, it's true that you are the righteousness of God. But something is happening in your life that is negating that. And it must be dealt with. There are some of our brothers, you love God. Some of you still, as anointed as you are, once you just sit down, the spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name i don't care what the name is it must bow this night are you getting what i'm saying when i finish then i'll prophesy over everybody everybody must go home with something this night in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah now those of you standing in front for our time i'll pray with you very quickly i'm not going to ask you what the issue is but i want you to believe listen there are some of you your own issue is money once you see money hi you don't it's like an anointing comes on you once you see money the issue of born again is out of the way please i want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue that's what has stopped some of you from getting married you have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire he should back to sender you keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it if you've been laughing about it let me challenge you you better hear what i'm saying and take it as the voice of god i'm not saying there's anything wrong with god blessing you with a millionaire but everybody starts somewhere it's only the grave that you start digging from the top every other thing you start from under hallelujah i'm going to agree with you and those spirits will leave you you will go back home a changed person and you will find out that those laws see do you know the listen let me tell you you are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you if you are still enduring and using willpower you need prayers are you getting me there are men who are not sleeping with ladies but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely that one look it will take one week recovery of one week you will reboot your spiritual life again you need prayers don't let anybody tell you it's normal everybody's like that then what is the purpose of the power of the holy spirit if we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of god is real something can happen to you are you getting my point or you are not stealing you've not carried it it's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet but once you are still struggling with the urge for something you need prayers as simple as that never convince yourself that everything is over yet once you find out that there is something still pushing you you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house he just calls you and says ah I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I pray. As I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go. Leave her. Now.
that besets you. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. Go. Hallelujah. Those who are smokers, make sure you join them. I'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking, Indian hemp, Benelin, wee wee, everything, join them. I don't care what it is. Once you are smoking something, you need prayers. I'm serious about it, please. I don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking join them is this spirit of rebellion go ahead worship him help Jesus Christ, I set you free. are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally just pray for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rate does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. Wait and see. After this prayer, some of them will follow you for miracle service. Those who have vowed that they won't come, you will see them coming because 
they tried all their rehabilitation they took your name to prophets nothing happened hallelujah listen i have a very serious word of advice maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it but let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past Number two, stealing money from people, your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life. I don't care what revelation of redemption you have. You keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken. Are you getting what I'm saying? Brothers, we we. Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codeine. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one, they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. That's spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we're going to organize a service and bring these people and you will see the power of God setting these people free there's no need just talking out they are the ones stealing around and if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things they must be delivered this is not just the issue of police station this is the issue of the power of God then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday but there is what we call apostolic reformation there is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are hallelujah praise God come please take a powerful worship Sam just take a powerful worship as I pray for these people how many people are left here all right, let me. If I pray for you, please just step back so that I just finish up with these people very quickly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't care what the issue has been. If you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello, ladies. If you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes has opened. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say, the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher. Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman. Because you have money. And then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah. So that God can now bless you. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their, will, will forgive their sins and heal their land. Hallelujah. Sam, please. Any song? Okay, let's pray quick. Thank you, Jesus. So we say, I set you free. Can't go back.
everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem you can even call police to come and flog them they can jail them for one week they will come out and repeat the same thing but you try the power of god and see what will happen lift your hands let me pray for you father this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that beginning from tonight, may the Lord begin to convict their hearts. May they be born again and mightily used by God. I prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by God. We choose to see the goal that is in them. We choose to see the great destiny. We declare that their lives are not useless. No matter how much they have wasted their life, my God gives them another chance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Now I've prayed for them. On your own path, as much as you can, talk to them. Listen, it's not just to bring them for koinonia. You are anointed. You have been using Cain to flog them. One day, get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house. You will see the drama of the power of God. See, this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you. If all you are taking back is koinonia messages, they will be blessed, but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat quickly. One last category and we are done for tonight. Goodness. Please don't miss next week's communion service. I already sense that God is doing very, very, very mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I don't want you to just come out emotionally. Hallelujah. Whether you are inside or outside. If you run a business, if you have a business, whether it's a family business or it's your own, I'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around, you know that whether it's a family business, whatever it is, from poultry to whatever, and you think that you want to see the hand of God in your business and that of your family members, please, I'm begging you, let's save time. Hallelujah. If you belong to that category, you know that you just need the touch of God. I want you to come out and stand here. Trust him. Trust him that God will do something. Please, the sound. Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you, will be on deficit. But... You need, you, it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there. But let me tell you, listen, listen. You must get up and do something. The man with one talent sat down. For somebody in this place, this is the message God is telling you. If you, if you are afraid of doing business, you can start a poultry at least. What is wrong with three or four of you? Listen, I'm very serious. Just... Just stop this. Let me press this thing down. Praise God. What is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50, 50,000 naira together huh? and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you? You bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. 
There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes that you kept it? Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Oh God, Jordan is here. Oh, Jordan, wave your hand. Oh God, Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to, to you see that. Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. And we'll pay you for it. We won't say you are a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirt for me. And I know you. You see what you are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. He will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything that I've said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> Let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of... I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life, it takes audacity. It takes God's. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plot? 
I know Selena Platt. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you Platt. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook who will pray, we will send you away. We will pray for you. If you become a headache, we will send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We will clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that? How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around, but there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin on your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say, I'll be excellent. How many of you fried chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, no, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades. You are, uh, they say, what are you doing? You say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what our salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small. But you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we would take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, was you Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. 
She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, Capita, Capita, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt, grant that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? Or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadou Bello University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me a headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. An ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1000 a bit 2000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. 
Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. 5. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, Somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying design something decent how many brothers dress well here there are some of you who can sell nice suits you may not be able to afford certain levels maybe 30 000, 40 50 100 but you can start small many brothers here don't know where they sell suits why don't you bring it closer home hallelujah some of you draw how many of you draw you are painters or you are artists you, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your... Have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday, you can say, I can point, paint your picture. 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks. Have you done anything? So let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step. I watched a documentary, brothers and sisters, in Fiji Island. Fiji Island is an island, small island, but they love God now. Something happened. There were missionaries who came to that place. And they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them. Before the missionaries died, they cursed the land. They cursed the land and the people and they died. And the people thought it did not matter. One by one, the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously. When hunger hit the people from the government down, they said something is wrong. And God began to reveal to the church around there that look, there are, there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed. This is what they did. They began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries. Listen to me. They brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city. They loved them and the children blessed the land and said we release you from the cause of our fathers. It's, it's a documentary. In less than one week, they saw fish, crops started growing. Fiji Island changed at once. There are so many families that are seated. Part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol, you will never build a house. You will never marry. Contract sealed. Now you came that you are born again and you are moving around. 35, 37, no marriage. The other one too is coming. When you meet pastors, they say, no problem. Are you not born again? Just believe. Marriage is going. The ones that get married, no children. Mysteriously. You are seeing the same patterns happen. Because covenants are powerful. That was the very same principle Jesus used to redeem man. Covenants. Covenants. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Covenants are powerful. Until they are broken, the spirits 
the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the, of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse 6 here god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey god nothing happens no it's not about god doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the old testament those laws predate our dispensation are we together now so tonight i want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen i tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time i remember our school getting ultimate power so that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army 
that this situation in your life must end i sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies a testimony is simply what happens when the holy spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life any other spirit must create problems tonight daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed That's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance. Listen, as we begin to pray, many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone. Really, when you understand this, you will know what a miracle is. A miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs. This is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose lose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to and where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring God's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time Satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 five points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later 
Remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward. You started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance. After you read it, you now threw it away. Because you cannot help yourself in the flesh. It takes the anointing of the spirit. That's why he sends carpenters. That's why he puts miracle services like this. So that you can come under the influence of God's power. How about genotype issues? SS. You get up and find out you are SS or AS. Do you know the Bible never mentions the issue of SS or AS? Are you aware of that? That thing was a technology that was fabricated by Satan. To stop people from getting married. You see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come. And then one spirit just brings one, one demonic report called SS. And they say, sorry, we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescue the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescue the earth lives in me Sing it two more times with faith in your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Jump up on your feet and sing it one more time. Same power. Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquer the grave. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Listen, deliverance therefore is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and god is ready for us tonight i tell you God is ready for us tonight. Lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word. The body without a spirit is dead. 
the body without a spirit is dead now i realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation lord i now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft, any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. The earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, same. up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit behind failures challenge the spirit behind marital delays challenge the spirit challenge the spirit of death from your family challenge the spirit of death challenge the spirit challenge the spirit he must let you go tonight he must let you go tonight those outside I hope you are praying this is your destiny tonight the spirit the body without a spirit is dead Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure 
without the spirit that sponsors it is dead barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead are you getting what i'm saying the key to liberty is to affix the spirit that initiates that thing for a body without a spirit is dead any cause without a spirit backing it is dead it's null and voice any pronouncement any enchantment without a spirit is dead therefore i want you to lift your voice and i want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see meets leads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. 
my goodness there is such a heavy unction on me it's for deliverance tonight it must give way for you to move forward at the count of three hear me listen I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice at the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction as you shout it fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire Mata Labata father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three second Jeteke. i command covens i command altars i command spirits bring them out Fire! 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 hallelujah hallelujah the holy ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here i see many people formitting poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we have victory one two three it must let you go it must let you go you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The Lord is giving me a word right now. There are ladies here. There is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you, to sleep with you right now. Lord, where are they? Let that fire, let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now it must leave you now hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out i don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks
Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray. Any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe, every tongue. I am a, I'm a new creation, no longer connected to ancestry. Lift your voice and pray. Every altar that connects me to my fathers. Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now right now i see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now i'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front Put your hand there and check it. You will find out that that growth is gone. Completely. I'm seeing two holes. Two holes of a left teeth being healed. Right now. Check it. You won't find the hole again. Two holes. Two holes of your teeth. Check it right now and make your way to the front. My goodness. God is doing miracles in this place. There are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we're not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah 
the Lord is showing me a lady. Tears just start coming out of your eyes without any. You are not crying, but it just starts coming out. It's very embarrassing. It starts coming out right now. The Lord is healing you. Wherever you are, confirm it and make your way to the front right now. Confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now. Right now. Confirm it and make your way to the front. We'll give all of them room to testify. God is healing people right now. I'm seeing someone with this finger. Look at me. This finger. This very finger. That's what the Lord is showing me. There is a miracle happening on that finger. This very one. I don't know if it broke or something happened to it. But there is a miracle happening to that finger right now. Right now. I'm hearing a name, Gabriel. 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 Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. 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 The Lord is bringing a, a miracle for Gabriel. Gabriel. I've been fighting this name, but let me bring it out. I'm hearing a name, Asabe. I don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family. Asabe. Asabe, I'm hearing that name. Who is Asabe? Please confirm. Make sure you confirm it. Let's not. Huh? You are Asabe? Uh, but I'm seeing another person again. No. Eh? This, you are Asabe. Please stand here. Miracles everywhere. Come, tell us. Very quickly, come, come. Please help us. Give Aaron. Let's, let's coordinate them. Okay, come, sir. Let's just listen to this. Give them the mic. Lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the Lord I am the girl who the man of God prophesied I have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once I put my hand I, I always notice blood coming out but now I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people. Let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are patient. talking, there is a lady who will come strongly people. under the anointing outside. Please speak that lady and bring her as we are talking the power of god is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it starts it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now Gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down praise yes lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest but now i feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give jesus praise yes please praise god while he was preaching i was having peptic ulcer so peptic ulcer out, but while we start praying it left me and there's I'm one more outside go and carry her Jesus. it left me immediately now i'm not feeling it again. no pain again give jesus praise yes ma'am praise, praise the lord I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But um, when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Let Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games. Please check it. Check it. Eye problems. 
I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem, confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people, please make your way to the front. At least 10 people, check it right now. God is doing a miracle. Don't sit back. Inside and outside, lower abdominal region. Lower abdominal region. That miracle is happening right now. Right now, right now. At least 10 people. 10 people with that pain. As soon as you check it, make your way to the front. Celebrate Jesus. God is healing them. They are coming. They are coming. All of you, you can come and stand here. The moment you receive a miracle, please stand here. They will confirm you. At least 10 ladies. Right at this lower abdominal region. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a gentleman. You came here with a throat condition. In fact, um, let me just describe to you. They are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat. It's like there is an elongation. Some, I'm seeing them saying they want to use, is it knife or something? And cut something that, uh, an elongation. Who is that person? The Lord is healing you right now. Right now. You can't swallow things. You always feel like it's like bone. But it's like there is something on your throat. Almost perpetually. Right now, check it, check it. Check it completely. The power of God is coming upon you. There is a lady. God is healing your mother. But the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening. As, as a point of contact as a point of contact I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump I'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly Please loud and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Help I us sound, please. Can you help us with this mic? I used to have this pen down my stomach here, but now I'm not feeling completely okay. gone. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How long has it been? Delicious. Come on, Koinonia. Let's not get too used to miracles in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next person, please. My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My name is like, I'm pregnant. It's become like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relief and my stomach is In fact, nothing. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost, it's even beginning to embarrass you. It's not just like a stomach protruding. You are feeling it very hard and stiff. Um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid. Please check it right now. God is giving you a miracle. God is giving you a miracle. God bless you. Bless you quickly. When they say we should shout, praise the Lord. So I now shout. The stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria, but I can't feel it again. Completely gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. It never returns again. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time. But it just left me immediately. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. 
So I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance. Please help them so that they don't fall on. on. Praise the Lord. The abdominal pain normally comes and goes. And when I was outside, I was still feeling my stomach hooking such that I could not stand well. I was bending. And then when the man of God spoke, I got up and stretched and to the glory Completely of the Lord. no pain again. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. Mine is more of um, creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time. And it's, it happens that every time I try to push further, I realize that there are a lot of setbacks, distractions, and uh, confusions that comes my way. And right now, but what has right happened? now, when at the mention of the name Jesus, I felt my body on fire. I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes. of that creativity yes, comes, comes to you yes, in sir. the name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At the shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Believe me, that name works. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Chica concerning pain. In pain the joint. you went to the hospital yeah what did they say is wrong with you they, did, they couldn't see anything they couldn't see anything yeah okay and when you were praying you prophesied that there is a uh, 10 people here that that god is working on yes. their system and, and now what has happened to you the pain is gone. the pain is completely even gone medical, Jesus praise. even the medical report is in my room the medical report is in your room yeah. you go and check yourself and you find out all of you that were under the anointing when you get up don't just go back to your seat check you will find out that all kinds of things have happened you are not just falling for nothing praise the lord praise the, pra praise the lord i'm trusting god for a new set of dentition my teeth are just go ahead <laughs> the power of god is on her Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, and, um, it's okay. Um, there is this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you respond by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice like swelling up, and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. yeah. And I now, feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay Completely gone. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the spirit of fear, as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free in the name. The of The spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I, was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got here. I announced. I saw I've been that shaking, a baby, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress, Mama. If she's if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zah make her do Please, you people should not stress this old woman. If she should even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her please the lord is is wiping the tears in your family you believe that 
when a word comes like this it comes to give you liberty hold my hands father in the name of jesus i end this oppression in this family right now it goes forever in the name of jesus who has an elder brother who has an elder brother yes. do, you, do you have an elder brother yes. what is he doing he's a carpenter he's a carpenter yes the person i'm i'm talking about didn't go to school though is your brother yes. where is he he's in the village he's in the village god is going to lift him what is this thing that i'm seeing them laughing at him and they are saying it it's not his fault that he didn't go to school even you is by the grace of god that you are here it's not like maybe is that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that is the favor of god yes but god as a sign go and tell him call him after koinonia that the lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man he should be faithful to that man Amen. that man will bless him Amen. father let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of jesus asabe gabriel oh your name is gabriel your name too is gabriel sir who is titi Lyo? titi Lyo. i'm hearing a name titi Lyo. please let's save time our time is gone um we still have to pray for the sick titi Lyo. i'm hearing the name titi Lyo. titi Lyo. who is working here sir you're, you're working you're both working okay i'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing the Lord is sir it won't be too long you are leaving Gusau we spoke at least we spoke that one is not word of knowledge we, we spoke about it but it won't be too long the Lord is lifting you to another place go and write it down this will happen to you it won't be too long write it down you will come back and testify before them it's not a disadvantage it's something that will bless you in no small way because you have come with your heart open in the name of the lord jesus christ father i lay my hands i pray right now that you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the lord jesus christ i hear breakthrough for you sir this is what i hear the lord is saying i should announce breakthrough to you father i hold his hands and i announce breakthrough in jesus name praise the lord Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You, you are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show Mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? knowledge is power secondary school okay knowledge is power yes, sir. your sister is where kaduna kaduna yes sir tell her is she married no sir tell her marriage is coming for her are you hearing me you believe it because she has been praying about this your mother where's your mother your mother has been joining her to pray yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of god and they prayed about yes. this thing is that true your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer one touch is okay some of you when they pray for you you refuse you still stand back please once they pray for you just check yourself and go back praise the lord and then don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that if you came with somebody who is sick now is the time to bring them out while we are praying please arrange them now is mama's time all this all our mothers they can make their way now our god is an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with wings the power and love our god is an awesome god our god please clear the 
way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. Hallelujah. Now let's save time. While we are praying for the sick, all of you begin to submit your prayer request. Please, I permit you to put on your phone. If you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests, call them. Because what God is doing tonight is unusual. Call them and tell them there's fire upon this place. They should submit their prayer requests. Ushers, please begin to go around. Those online, those who are connecting with us through the internet, they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do mind, you do glory, you do glory, you're a awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Your dad. Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs have swollen. Because it's been long I saw him. He doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with my man. None of the children look at him except me. The same problem that my is having. Like, but it's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. As well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now 
as I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your oh God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faith. God, awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe, listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How would you like to have a child? That, do you know what it means for the brain not to develop that child becomes like an imbecile forever in the name that is above all names we lay hands upon this child we are not only praying that God will heal him but God will use him my God I pray right now let the brain begin to develop we cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness right now in the name of Jesus Sorry, who brought her? 
I say, I, I go village, now I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter, you are her daughter, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell me. This is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In their hem. You go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. Yes, this is... Look at, look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a whirlwind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you will be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, we cancel those relationships right now. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it, but I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go or codeine altar. once i make the altar call just run and come and kneel down here because tonight is your night of salvation please don't play games with your destiny anything you smoke anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency the moment there's time for altar call please make your way here we love you but then the lord wants to touch you let's hurry up because our time is gone your name is here. out
out.
right now at the same time an altar call is called an altar call will be going those who need jesus christ you are here right now inside and outside there are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies the ones that i spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of god don't feel bad we're a family and any other person there are those who are saying lord i'm tired of the way my life is I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners keep coming from outside please clear the way for them if they are coming salvation is a very serious issue clear the way for them so that they'll come don't let any devil stop you you are welcome i know we're out of time but please make your way to the front right now make your way to the front we love you no man condemns you he can give you a new beginning hallelujah hallelujah I salute every one of you here I don't care what you have done or what you have not done I want you to know that his majesty can give you a new beginning hallelujah lift your right hand and say after me say Lord Jesus I believe in you I believe you died and rose again I'm tired of the way my life is I surrender everything to you seriously and completely from this night take over my life be my Lord and Savior let your life come upon me I break free from habits from sins and everything that destroys my life from today I'm a child of God I am saved in the name of Jesus let me pray for you Lord I thank you for these ones unashamedly they have come before you preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus I break the power of sin over your life you will never return especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking you will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ that power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to follow a gentleman they will have your details and then on Tuesday unfailingly please be around um, meet with the prayer department 
and um, they'll fire you up. You'll be with them for at least a month. They will guide you. The gentleman is waving his hand. Salute them, everybody. Congratulate them. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute. Please, everybody, rise. We're rounding up. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request. Your request is here. Begin to speak. Prophesy. Prophesy over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy over it. Prophesy over it. Lord, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Shabakata pradegedebele de bosh. Reketetetetekete pradegedebele de bosh. Lord, do miracles. Every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here, we judge that spirit. Every spirit, every covenant, every influence. Makata lato desetebe. Mande brendo so so prida balada baska pratiga de bele de bosh. Prato so pratiga de bele de bosh. Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, yeah. responsible for any setback. In the name of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. Lord, let your people have testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that every request, every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you will stand to testify before the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Now lift your hands and receive the prophecy. I decree and I declare over you. Every confusion in your life. Every cry for direction. Right now in the name of Jesus. May you receive direction for the next level of your life. Receive direction for the next level of your life. Receive direction for the next level of your life. Every area of confusion, I arrest it right now. You will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are students, I pray for your academics. The exams that are about to come. Your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may you record five points in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing I declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ I pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of God I kill it right now in the name of Jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs we release those jobs right now Please believe me as I pray. We release those jobs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death. 
that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 i declare may the mantle of honor come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence i cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of God there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you'll have a few details celebrate them koinonia dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos, kete branda kata bako tos koto preka teke ne kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.